and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some deep zillion. That's right, we're going to be playing a deep deck with Shurima that's going to have zillion as a finisher. So you may be thinking that like, well, zillion doesn't really work with toss cards because you don't want to just like put time bombs in your deck and then and then you know toss them and and plus the the time bombs make it more difficult to go deep. And so those don't really work together, but really that's, so that's why we don't want to play Zillion early, right? Because if we just do that, those things don't really work together. So really what it's about is tossing and going deep first. And then after you do that and you have just hardly any cards left in your deck, then you drop Zillion. And so that's why we're only playing two Zillions because then you drop Zillion and um, put all the time bombs in your deck. Cause then, then your deck's just going to be a bunch of time bombs and, uh, you know, you'll be able to play those and, and draw through them and, and play a bunch of time bombs at the end. So that's what that's what it's all about. And so therefore, um, you know, instead of playing three Zillion, three Nautilus, since we don't want Zillion until later, we're only playing two. So then we had room for two Twisted Fates in the deck just because Twisted Fates can kind of do everything, right? Just a Swiss Army knife to help get us to the late game. Early game going to be a lot about tossing. And we'll have our Dredge Dredgers in here. Dredge Dredger's comboing with Bone Skewer also, where we can use this as like two damage removal, put Dredgers back on top, replay Dredgers, toss another three, you know, to go uh, to go deep real fast. We got other interaction with Hired Gun, Merciless Hunter, but then a dec decent amount of card draw like Pool Shark, Fortune Croaker, um, Preservarium, all those drawn cards, sl Salvage, to just help us go deep and just get rid of the deck. And then of course, we'll have our Sea Monster stuff, Slaughter Docks, Devour, Nautilus, all of that. So it looks like a pretty interesting list. So we'll go ahead and go play our uh, five games in normal with Deep Zillion. Okay, Draven Ezreal. Draven Ezreal going to try to kill all of our stuff. So we don't need Zillion until later. So I'm just going to keep the Merciless Hunter with this list. We want We want to find our toss cards early. Yeah, 5-0 with Aurelia Talia. Talia was just too... And I was even making some mistakes. But Talia is just too good to lose. Everybody knows that. Talia never loses. Oh, wow. That's terrible. Right? Like, those are the cards we want to draw. Jettison and Dredge Dredgers. So those being at the bottom of the deck that we just toss, that is not good. Time for the main. Yep, we played it in ranked for the last game, yep. Alright, so they got lost spitting axes. Good. I think they're gonna get us. Fortunately, Draven is just the um, single best possible uh, card to have early in the Draven Ezreal deck. Yeah, they have multiple of them. Now we're cooking. This one's a fighter. All right, hopefully that quick sand works out for us. So we can pick a card and put Zillion back. But I like their decks filled with removal. I think that they're gonna be killing this twisted fate. So I, I kind of want to hold on to this one for whenever this one dies. Then we have the new one. You suck. 
A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. All right, we'll be able to play everything except for Nautilus. There's only one other Nautilus in the deck. <laughs> Devour. Well, I don't love seeing Devour, but... We can play it. I guess I just don't love seeing it because it costs so much mana. A lot of cards over there. Yeah, we're playing um, like a zillion Twisted Fate Sea Monster deck right now. Aurelia Talia, basically, we had like the uh, the Emperor's Dies, the landmark that makes another Sand Soldier whenever you attack, and then also the landmark, um, the Sand Swept Tomb that makes a 5 2 whenever you attack, and so like that kind of stuff with. Um, with Aurelia. Alright, get another card. Awesome. That'll get us towards deep a little faster. And so I waited to play this one to then play the Fortune Croaker. Ah, uh, Slaughter Docks. Don't get to play you yet. We're eight away from deep. Four away from deep. Who's on top of the bounty board today? So I'm planning on playing Slaughter Docs and Preservarium this round. Um, Alright, well, Captain Baron just probably wins this game. Need one more target, level up Ezreal, and kill me with Ezreal. Well, that Draven Ezreal deck is one of the top decks for a reason. Oh, I didn't switch on the top left here. I didn't say that we're playing Deep Zillion. For some reason we don't die, then you know, like we're gonna have a, a bunch of sea monsters like for our next attack round. Oh, that bone skewer would have been great also. One shot, all skill. No, we're dead. Those things close Ezreal and Captain Baron closed the game out fast. Okay, this should be I don't know, a little bit better. It's not a it's not a tier one deck. At least. I like Fortune Croaker plus Hired Gun. Hired Gun can help out against uh, fearsome units, like 3-2 fearsomes. Fortune Croaker, of course, just drawing cards. There's 
nothing to fear. Adil and coins and carnage. You won't suffer long. Make it worth my while. So I'm gonna just have the hired gun attack into the Elise. For silver, I talk. For gold, I listen. Put it down to one health so that then red, you know, red card will finish it off. Gross. Time to make some coins. Well. Son of a. Okay, okay. Let's go let red card kill all these things. All right, Nasher, take care. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. I'm a people person. Okay, so that worked pretty well. More Callista. Um. Bone Skewer. No, don't toss Bone Skewer. We want to draw Bone Skewer. <laughs> Alright, Bone Skewer would have been nice. Because, you know, we'd, we'd put the Twist of Fate back on top of the deck with Bone Skewer. And deal two damage somewhere. Um... Slaughter Dogs. Wow, they have a lot of champions over there. Tribute to the Spider God. Ah, these bone skewers. They'd be so good. So pretty. So deep first Teemo Foundry happened in Poland, Belgium. So the Teemo Foundry milled deep just before they would have deadly opened attacked. Okay, how am I... Okay, so we're gonna do... So my plan, of course, is to try to get these to one health again and then use Twist of Fate, red card again. Callista is probably the most important thing to kill. Hold it, partner. Because you know, obviously, if I, if I red card, then we level up Callista, and I don't want that to happen. Still at 15, not dead yet. Oh, right, they're just doing that. Cool. GG's. Alright, well, two for two. Very good hands for our opponent. That's They had four champions, <laughs> and then just a bunch of removal in the mid game, and then that combo. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't have said not dead yet. That was my, that was my bad. Should not have said not dead yet.
Okay, so I love this. We have our, our um, things that toss. Sorry. All right, so we have our things that toss right away. We have a bone skewer. I always wait on Jettison, There's, especially when you have like the spell mana. As long as you're not going to be using any mana, it's always good to wait on that card. Because then they, your opponent doesn't necessarily know about it. So this would keep them from drawing two cards. I think that that's worth, that's worth it. Two cards is really, you know, like that's, that's a lot of value. Good Vile Feast. Hey, yeah, this deck's strange. We uh, play strange decks on Meme Tier Monday. Let's get some sea monsters. Sea monster time. Yes, yeah, so we still have all six of our champions in our deck. So six out of 13 cards are the champions, so we should be finding champions pretty soon, you would think. Done. Just like it was a really good Vile Feast. Before that was a really good stun. Yeah, Terra of the Tides is like the best card to pull. Still no champion. There's only ten cards left, so there's only four non-champions in, in the deck. So like, we're not really going to be tossing. I kind of feel like they're trying to set up ruination. I love the bone skewer with Nautilus. You know, they use Vengeance or Ruination, and we just put Nautilus back on top. I was considering quicksanding that, so then it couldn't block... The being fearsome. Another great stun spider for them. But if I did that, then I wouldn't have Bone Skewer available.
Yeah, we're just gonna go to Blood Skewer. Devour is a good one to put back on top. But I'm... I think we should toss the other two and draw a Devour. And we get to just open attack. All fearsome. GG. So we had a lot better hand there as far as tossing goes, right? Like we tossed a lot better than the first two times. Uh oh. Aurelia Azir? In normal? This could be bad. We gotta be able to affect the board. We don't really have time for Preservarium, but it's it's better than just like getting four random cards or just like having the baseline of having a Preservarium at least. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. Oh. Again, we toss all good cards. Like those are all, you know, one and two mana cards. It'd be really nice to have. They're at the bottom of the deck. We need them on top. Really, really considering casting Bone Skewer right now. It'd keep them from attacking for three. Keep them from attacking like with two units with Aurelia. Keep you know one unit from with the zero coming into play. Yeah, I think that's the play. Bunsky or sweet. You know, reset dredgers. Because I can't even like gold card to try to protect around the plus three plus one because the gold card would just kill the ribbon dancer. <laughs> Merciless needs to be buffed so it can kill his ear. Yeah, that's that's probably what's wrong with this game right now. Is Merciless Hunter isn't good enough. Fourteen away from deep. Do not see what is. Shurima is sand and scar, past and present. Azir may not be the most fair card in the game. Might not be. All right, we're one and three. That I mean, we're, we're playing a meme tier deck for a reason, but we've played against two of the very best decks with Draven Swain and Aurelia Azir, and yeah, you know, like no no shame in losing those. So we're we're really one and one against other non best decks competition. Okay, so it's not Thresh Nasus. So it's a little worse with Kindred Nasus. All 
I'd love two dredge dredgers to start with. Made a jettison. Why is this one one attacking? We forget that that's still a one one, not a two one. Blighty Caretaker is amazing. I yeah, I I think Blighty Caretaker. Like if I was playing this deck, I'd definitely be playing Blighty Caretaker. It's still amazing as a 1 1. That's right. Run! We'll see if I regret not having that quicksand later on. Last breath's not a keyword, right? So, like, quicksand wouldn't get rid of last breath, but quick attack's a keyword. Deal me in. Soak it in. So I get to have like the merciless hunter block the undying, and then bone skewer the kindred. Nine away from deep. Oh yeah, I mean you you should be playing Merciless Hunter also, but you, you can play Blighted Caretaker and Merciless Hunter. They're both incredibly good, you can play both of them. Playing the Merciless Hunter because they know about it. Higher Gun's kind of a little better for me to play right there. But I'm just going to play the card that they know about. Still nine away from deep. If we can devour and obliterate the Undying, that would be cool. I'd be all for that. Which I guess I have to try right now. Because I, I, mean, I could just play Jettison, but... Yeah, I think we just try right now. Wow, it worked! It was obliterated. I can't believe that worked. No Glimpse Beyond or Vile Feast or... Nothing. Good thing we did it right then. I was feared once, just as you are now. What's that, Lem? Something soon forgotten, dear wolf. You're dead meat. They don't get slays for these. <laughs> Today. Obviously, we want to mark that before they play anything that's larger. All right, let's just kind of see what we get for a one mana spell. See if we get anything that helps. That doesn't help. You know, we could grab. We could find like a I don't know, like a scrying sands or like the the plus the plus three plus one card. It could help out in combat. Wrap 
Because of Isle Feast, I'm using the 4-2 instead of the 4-1. Plus, Devour is about to grow. Yeah, we did go on a 10-win win, win streak with the... Um... Yeah, that's fine. I could use the Shakedown and kill the Twisted Fate and give those two vulnerable. If I do that... I guess Kindred still sacrifice if I do that, right? They still sacrifice Kindred if I do this? And I keep the 4-2 alive? I think that's how it works. I think it's still sacrificed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nope. We're one away from deep. We don't want to put time bombs in our deck yet. <laughs> Go deep first. Yeah, some treasures. Love me some good treasures. Ooh, we can do some toss in. Okay. Get a treasure. We got a treasure. I don't have room for that treasure, though. All right, I think it's time to, to go ahead and zillion. That's what our deck does. We only have 10 cards left. Now we zillion. Oh, treasure trove. Haven't I been here before? The desert by my Dude, our deck is sweet. Oh, that's probably a second NASA, so they're going to have the five mana NASA spell. So I think I attack first. That's right. Run! Don't stand in my way. That's really just that, so I guess. I guess I can go. You, you. You, you. Because they've already, we've already killed two kindreds, so there's a sixty-seven percent chance that they have. Oh, it was the third kindred. Okay, it wasn't the Nasus. Alright, what do we get for some treasures? What if we make two time bombs for treasures? Oh, Battle Fury? You would have been good. Yo, progress day? Uh, I guess a Battle Fury that. Oh no, because it'll turn it into 11. Um, I guess I can do this first. Do I want to draw three first or predict first? I guess predict. Okay, those don't help. No. Even though, I, you know, because I can draw three, so... Yeah, these don't help. So, skip. Which I guess I might as well... I probably should have drawn three before... We did that. Time for some time bombs. Time bombs. All right, level up Zillion. Life steal spell shield. I guess I can wait. My card count? Probably around five, six, seven, something like that. No, it's actually probably like eight. Nine or ten. Eight. Ha. Ah, nailed it. <sighs> Bone skewer. Yes, we can re reset ship recorder. Yeah, we're we're winning this game. I 
I'm gonna block with the two five. You want me to block with that? That's cool. <laughs> they forgot about the two five. Oh man, we didn't get to do like even more cool stuff though. Just as I Think of how many Nautilus we were gonna have because we we're gonna be able to like play Nautilus. Zillion would make a new Nautilus the next round, so then we would, you know Nautilus like tuck something to put more, another Nautilus back in the deck. So then therefore we draw that because there's like no other cards left in our deck. So then we play that and then copy it again, and we we're just gonna have like infinite Nautilus with the help of <laughs> with the help of Zillion. That was gonna be awesome. Okay, so kind of the same story as our previous deck. is like, so, you know, we played against two great tier one decks, the really Azir, Draven, Ezreal, and, you know, like those, those decks are amazing. So we lost those two, but we won two of the other three. And whenever we were winning, our deck was doing some really, really cool, powerful stuff. Um, and it looked pretty awesome, you know, like being able to do all this tossing, go deep, and then you put the time bombs in the deck so that then we found the time bombs immediately. The slot, that last game was really, really cool. Slaughter Docks getting some treasures and the, we hit some great treasures you know hitting battle fury and progress day some awesome treasures that we hit um so yeah that, that was a lot of fun um so there you there you go there's a unique way to play zillion is this going to be one of the very best decks probably not probably going to struggle against like the very top of the metagame but against like just some some other decks that aren't the top of the metagame you can definitely have a lot of fun with this one so that's what me tier money is all about so that's Deep Zillion. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit the like button and leave those comments. I hope you all enjoyed this deck. Hopefully y'all have been enjoying this Meme Tier Monday with these unique decks. We got another one though. But of course, as always, thank you so much for watching this deck and I'll see you for the next video.